Hey guys, what's going on here again today? Uh, this is John Pender, exmg 2 9 uh, Michael asked a question today, and I'm going to read it for you. Uh, I have noticed I respond and feel much better when using a lot more volume. This is after I have been working when you usually suggest a two work sets. More so when my work sets are static, my best workouts are usually one and a half hours up to two hours. Not uncommon. My rest periods are not short though. Almost always less than five minutes between sets and up to 10 to 15 minutes between movements, which include me include time to shuffle my gym around and set up for the next exercise. I'm curious how many trainees you have on more volume. Uh, let me answer that question first. Uh, most of my guys are doing volume work. Moderate to high volume depends on their work capacity and how long they've been training, what their goals and stuff are. Uh, you know, I've trained, you know, powerlifters, bodybuilders, gymnasts, softball players, wide variety of people. And uh, so, you know, with that being said, I, I like a lot of volume, particularly four days per week with more volume. Because the more volume you do, uh, by year's end, the more time you're going to get to spend in the gym as well. So it's important to keep doing that. I mean, the more volume you do, the bigger you're going to get and the stronger you're going to get that much faster as long as you uh, don't get it too overtrained. And I, now that's another question I'll take another time about overtraining and stuff too. So, but we'll stick with this for right now. Um, so back to the question. Um, most of my guys are doing volume work, Michael. I mean, I've only got a handful of them of the hundred plus clients I have right now. They're doing, you know, two to three days a week. And most of the time that's because of time constraints and stuff. But, uh, some guys don't respond well to volume, but most guys do. I found out over the years. And the other question is in general, how do you very change your routines to accommodate the need for more volume? Um, Typically, you know, and once again, it's based on your goals and stuff. Like some of the guys I train are some of the fighters here at the beach and stuff. And as far as their weightlifting goes, they can only train a couple times a week. Uh, but with that being said, you know, it, it's, uh, I hope we can hear this. Uh, it's, you know, a lot of times it's just based on your goals and stuff. But I try and increase the guy's volume over a period of time. Because just, once again, if you're working out three times a week compared to four times a week, four times a week gives you an extra 52 training sessions a year. So it just works really well. Um, I'm not sure if I answered the question exactly 100% right, uh, but I, you know I'm a, I'm a big fan of volume, have been for years, and I like pushing my trainees and pushing myself as well. Uh, obviously, as we, if my guys are competing in strongman or uh, you know whatever sport they're competing, we cut the volume back and get more sport specific as we get closer to their competitions and stuff like that as well. Uh, like Alex and a lot of my guys, Freddie that compete in powerlifting, Mike, Pam. Uh, you know, when we get uh, six weeks out from meet, we'll cut the volume back a little bit and start focusing more on the core lifts and, and getting pre and prepared for the meet and stuff. But um, with that being said, I hope that I answered the question to the best of my ability and you guys like what you're hearing and we'll keep it rolling. Thank you very much. And no matter what happens, you guys keep training.